Hi, my name is Carlos Soares. I'm a 3D artist focusing my career on creating characters for video game and films. In the recent past, I had the honor to work with a great team in three animation short films, two of which received a lot of praise internationally. But now I am honing my modeling, sculpting and texturing skills so I can be able to work in a video game studio to learn and collaborate with a medium that I love so much. In this course, we are going to learn how to materialize an idea for a character, first in 2D, then in 3D, and go all the way to make it an asset that could be used in real-time engines like Unreal or Unity. First, we are going to learn the importance of understanding the story of the character and how that influences the shape of the concept. We'll learn how to create a reference board with great images using software like PureRef. Then, we are going to block the shapes of the character using the amazing sculpting tools available in ZBrush. We'll try to maintain a non-linear workflow here, sending the character to Unreal as soon as possible to check the direction the work is taking. We are going to use Blender and ZBrush to create the high-poly version of the character with all its details. We'll learn some nice tips to save you some time along the road. The UV maps are going to be created in Maya. Maya will work as a hub for all the other software and a place to export everything after all is done. The baking process will happen mostly in Marmoset 2 Lab, but we are going to show you how to work in Substance Painter as well. Speaking of Painter, we are going to create all the textures there. We'll also learn how to create smart materials and use them to save time with repetitive tasks. We are going to show you how to work with displacement maps for the face pores. And of course, we'll create all the necessary textures for the face as well. For the real-time hair, we are going to use Maya's XGen to create the high-poly geometry and XNormal to bake the maps. But the hair grooming will happen in Blender and we'll show you some great tools for you to work fast and non-destructively. With every asset ready, we are going to export everything to Unreal Engine. We'll learn how to create simple materials and how to use complex ones made by other artists. Finally, we are going to learn how to create a scene and render some nice images for your portfolio. As a bonus chapter, we'll learn how to create a fast and simple rig using Maya's Human IK2. There's a lot to unpack here. I really hope this course will help you with your goals of creating amazing characters. It is an honor to be able to share my knowledge with you. I see you there!